how did this is a childhood thing for you, it right? Is. Apple dumplings, my favorite yeah, dessert. Yeah, where did you get them? We used to go. Well, you back in the day, Kmart. You go to Kmart. There wasn't Myers and Walmart. Kmart was the main store. Kmart. Kmart, and they had like a little. You could go eat like a little restaurant, a little cafe. Our Kmart that? wasn't like that. You didn't have a cafe at your no. Kmart? And they had apple dumplings. And I wanted just... Like homemade? Yes, they made homemade apple dumplings and they had like a, um, a pudding on top of them. And I would I beg mom to go. That was my favorite thing ever. So I recreated my favorite So dessert. you remember the taste and the smell oh, yeah. and all that as a kid. Yes. So you wanted to make this. But this is, again, one of those things I've never watched you do. All right, I like to make my little sauce first. Little sauce. And people do it all different. And what I do is I like um, a stick and a half of butter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to melt that. Once the stick and a half of butter is melted, I'm going to add half a cup of brown sugar mm -hmm. and about a quarter cup of regular sugar. Melt that all together. I have lots of sugar. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla and a capful. I use that candy, the cinnamon that people make candy with. I use a capful of that. And then I'm going to squeeze some lemon. I put about a tablespoon of lemon. When I make anything, so apples, that's your that's your sauce. That's that my sauce. Has. Gotta have lemon always with my apples. I don't know why. Grandma always had lemons. Can I drink the sauce? You can. Once it cools down. It's really delicious. <laughs> That's wonderful stuff. You want that to cook on the apples. It makes them super, super good. Yeah. Okay. Got the sauce made. What now? The best ingredient in the whole world is our lard. And I'm not kidding you. It's amazing. Oh, I know. I, can't, I will never cook without it. The old timers will tell you when, when it comes to pastries, you got to have lard. Do you smell that? That's ours. Mm. I like our lard. I'm going to put a little, little over a tablespoon. It smells like large marge. It does. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little over a tablespoon in there. I like to start with that. And I like just a little bit of sugar. I don't know what would you say that is, teaspoon? A little salt. A perfect teaspoon. Everybody does their own thing. Now, when we do something, it is not the only way to do it. If we if you see us doing something and you've got a better way to do it, knock yourself out. Right. This is just this is just our way. And I don't really measure a whole lot. I just kinda add water till I'm one of those cooks until it looks good, what I like, and keep adding flour. As long as we got that lard in there and that little bit of sugar and salt. So I would truly say that this is probably if I had to guess, the only show in the history of television, the only cooking show that had a recipe inspired from Kmart. Kmart. Kmart's cafeteria. Oh, we had a blue light. <laughs> I used to work at Kmart. Did you know that? Did you? Back yes, I did day, know yeah. that. You know, that's all there was was Kmart. You didn't have Walmart. Yeah. Or you just you, Kmart was your place to get stuff. I remember the blue light special. But their cafeterias were delicious. They had really, really? in Michigan, they had good food at the cafeteria. We're going to call this a blue light apple dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, I called my mom when I was making it to say, was it, it was a pudding, like a vanilla pudding on top of it. And that's what they had, a pudding sauce, and you'll see. It's all good. All right, I'm just gonna divide this into four, because we're gonna do four. What's next, Mrs. Smiley? All right, now we're going to peel our apples. All right. And you're right, Granny Smith are the best, but I, you know what, any kind of apples, I love them all. I'm gonna try to take the center of these out a little bit. Put a little hole in the middle so we can pour that wonderful sauce in there. Apples are peeled and cored. Mm -hmm. Those are just little baby apples, but they're perfect, don't you think? Oh, Whatever yeah. size you want. And I got my four little balls of... Oh, and we are preheating to 350 That's right, right. Now, correct? That's right, and it's going to cook for about an hour. This is the easy part. This is the easy part. It's just pulling the dough up on the apple. It doesn't have to be perfect. And like I said, you can just buy dough if you want. But I like making our own. All right, and we got a mess here, but move it back over here. And I like to take a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. but you can't have enough bit. cinnamon. Well, you gotta just, yeah, cover it up a little bit. And then a little bit of nutmeg, too. I like that. That's right, and now we're gonna take that sauce that we yeah. heated up, and you just mm. fill them up. And it, you know, you could, I have a lot of sauce, so you don't need this much maybe, but I like a lot. Just let's cover those up, and we're gonna cook those for an hour. At 350, and if we, about every maybe 15 minutes, I might baste them a little. You don't have to, but I like to just. And when you're done, you pile this in a bowl with vanilla pudding. We're gonna make some warm vanilla pudding, and that's gonna be our cream that goes around it. Yeah, there's no law against buttercup ice cream or anything. That would be good too. That's delicious. Or whipped cream. In the oven. To the oven. Right. You ready? Mrs. Farmer, you have some vanilla pudding, some instant vanilla pudding. Yes, and that's I the easy part. You can eat cold, hot, whatever you want to do, just any kind of pudding. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think? Mm -hmm. It's like they grew. <laughs> what one you want oh, to try? The smell. I want that one. You want the perfect one? Yep. So I guess, you know, I, I only, usually, I, I got to admit, I'm sitting in by the TV 
and you're you're whipping these up. You you're the one that always gets the desire for this, and when it happens, you can't avoid it. Right. So I'm sitting in there watching TV. You're like no dessert. I like smell something. Next thing you know, <laughs> plop, this is in my lap. But All this right. is the first time I watched you do it. All right, here's a little let's put a little sauce on oh. it. You want a little sauce? Oh yeah. And how about a little bit of pudding? This is this was the magic part. And I, they used to, I think, warm it up, it doesn't matter, but a little bit of vanilla pudding on there. So you talk about easy. You know, we like to do things that mostly you have things in your own kitchen. Oh, that, that's decadent right there. And we could put some whipping, heavy whipping cream too, or milk, but you want to just eat the like, you think we're good? Look at that. Go ahead, you go first. Okay, if I must. Boy, Taryn and them are gonna want this when they get here. They are, they've already requested it. Pudding makes it, doesn't it? No, everything makes everything it. Everything makes it? It's the perfect combination. Mm. 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 It's like an instant apple pie, but you have your own little one serving deal. This is absolutely wonderful, Mrs. Farmer.